Tonight, join Ed Cavalier, Jane Kennedy, Marty Shegal, Celia Pagwala and Sam Pang as we look back on the week and ask, have you been paying attention? And now, here's your host, Tom Kleister. Good evening, thanks for joining us. Great to be back for another big season and a special thank you to everyone who voted for us at the Logies. It was a, a genuine honour to pick up two awards and... Well, I think Sam summed it up best on the night. Today, very lucky. Yeah. Congratulations on me! We have a fabulous lineup this evening. In the top corner from Triple M Brisbane, Mr. Ed Cavalier. Yeah. Yeah. He just appeared on one of Ed's 17 different podcasts, Good. the fabulous yeah. Jane Kennedy. Nova FM, co-host of the number one drive oh shift in the country. Goodness. Welcome back, Marty Sheargold. Nice. The creator and star of Rosehaven, soon to be seen on Utopia. Say hello to Celia Pacuola. <laughs> and finally, a man I last saw around midnight at the Logies. Oh, no. And we want that trophy back, Mr. Sam Pang. <laughs> that later. Marty. Yes. A rather disturbing image made yeah. its way <laughs> yeah, that's uh, me into our office. <laughs> Talk me, us through um, that. Doing my home sleep apnea test, um, oh. which obviously I failed because who could sleep with that on Tom? <laughs> and uh, how long have you had the, the beard? The for? beard I was growing mm. uh, for awareness around drugs and alcohol and how much fun they are, Tom. <laughs> 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 One quick question about that photo. I understand Please. it's for sleep apnea, so I yeah. understand all of the stuff in and around your nose and yeah. head. Why the tape on the nipples? <laughs> <laughs> that's just something my partner asked me to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's, we call that a lifestyle choice, Ed. Right. Um, Celia. Hi. Logies, we saw you there. A yes. big night. Did you bring in any selfies? I did. This is some idiot who wouldn't yeah. leave me alone. No. Um, <laughs> desperate to get a selfie with her. That's uh, so I uh, had a good night. Sadly, you didn't. You didn't go no, home. No, Rose Haven, we did not win the Logie, but I, I uh, was fine with that. Handled it very well, very maturely. I believe we've got some footage of the handling of the uh, lack of a Logie. There she goes. <laughs> All right, I think we remember how this thing works. You guys put your hands on the buzzers. Sam. Can I, just before you start, can I just ask one question to you, Tom? Please, Sam. Why are you back as host? <laughs> Hands on buzzers. Let's get this thing underway. Malcolm Turnbull met with Donald Trump on Friday. Where did the meeting take place? Marty. TGI Fridays, Tom. <laughs> uh, decommissioned US warship. You were the USS intrepid. Comover. Um, <laughs> intrepid, I think, yeah. I see, Tommy, that uh, Trump went with the traditional handshake with Mr Turnbull. With Mrs Turnbull, no. did he go with his... Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Diplomatic yeah. were observed. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Staying with the theme, Donald Trump postponed that meeting because he was celebrating what? It. He got a repeal of Obamacare. Indeed. Huge royal news. Prince Philip will no longer be doing what? Marty. Ice, I believe. Oh. <laughs> Please. Move on. Jay. Embarrassing his wife. Well, you, you're close. He'll no longer be Ed? Uh, eating solids. OK. <laughs> Sam, please. Now, he's retiring from uh, public engagement time. After August, you'll know. So that the, the Queen be... is continuing on. Oh. Yes, the Queen's yeah. there. So yes. he's retiring to spend less time with his family. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that's 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 Rumours of the announcement caused a media frenzy. Luckily, a current affair were across oh, the breaking news. I am hearing that... Uh, right. I, sorry, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, Michael, I am hearing there has been an announcement that the Queen is stepping down from public life. Somebody's in my ear. Is Have we got confirmation of that or is that speculation? Just... We have confirmation. I think it's Prince Philip. We have Phillip. confirmation of a statement... For... Prince Philip is stepping yep. down. <laughs> you got a general idea. OK, interesting tweet from Will and Kate this week. Hope everyone enjoys this photo. What was the photo? Jane. It was the little Princess Charlotte. Right. Princess Charlotte on her second on birthday. birthday. And have we got the princess's photo? No. The... <laughs> Please. The nice... That's it. Lovely taken. France has a new president, Emmanuel Macron. What's unusual about his wife? Jane. She's a non-smoker. It is <laughs> almost unheard of in French politics. <laughs> Sam. I think that her name is also Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Tommy, it's nice to have him back. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be a long year. Celia. She is a little bit older than he I'll is. Pay that, Celia. 24 years old is, is Brigitte. Bonus points. Where did they meet? <laughs> Sam. Oh. Somewhere that had very favourable lighting, I would have <laughs> Now, I know this. Uh, she was his school teacher, Tommy. Yeah, that's oh, it. No. Yes, Parent teacher interviews over there are very different. <laughs> High school teacher, correct? That's true. Yeah. That is true. Staying with international news. It's squalid, it's overcrowded, rife with sickness. What is it? Celia. The toilet's at the Logies, Tom. No, you <laughs> By about uh, 10 o'clock, you're right, James. I think that might be the prison in uh, oh. Bogota, where our Aussie yes. friend is. Columbia, yeah, Cassie yes. Sainsbury has been held yeah. there. Cassie. Why are these journalists walking off the job? <laughs> Marty. Hopefully to get changed, Tom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Makeovers. Makeovers Actually, all around. <laughs> Sam. Um, no, they're on strike because Fair of uh, cuts. Fairfax journos unhappy about job cuts, correct. A busy week at home for the Prime Minister. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What nine, was he doing there? Jane. Well, he's getting the children to count the number of homes he owns. Yeah. <laughs> and they did well. Double figures is important to him. Jane, I'd love to pay that. But it was an announcement earlier in the week. Big announcement from the PM. Sam. New school funding. <laughs> it pains me to say Sam is yeah. correct. $18.6 billion funding package. All right. To Adelaide now, what are we looking at here? Ed. Julie Bishop got an honorary doctorate from the University of Adelaide. She did indeed. Just like getting a TAFE course in Victoria. It's a very, very <laughs> prestigious. Award, I'm sure. OK, another big week on A Current Affair. She's the glamorous model and TV presenter and he's the millionaire accountant to the stars. Easy question, who are they? Marty. It's not Koshy and Sam. It's... Uh, <laughs> oh, think, that... think Sydney... Oh, that... is... No, it's... Uh, 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 Jay. Anthony Bell and Thank Kelly Landry. Much. This week, Pope Francis will become the first pontiff to appear in a feature film. What's the name of the movie? Celia. As God as it gets. <laughs> so like to pay it. So like to pay it, but I won't. Ed. Is it the Fast and the Francis? Okay. <laughs> we're just... right, Celia, yes. We're just... Pope NATO. Okay, <laughs> stop there. It is called, it's an Argentinian children's film, Beyond the Sun. Wow. Why has this photo gone viral? <sighs> Jane. Are they in the US version of Married at First Sight? Yes. <laughs> Well, the US part's correct. It's, of course, Steve Bannon. Uh, Marty? Is there things on the whiteboard in the background that people shouldn't see, Tom? Oh. The whiteboard reveals sensitive information. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it was in Russian, so I don't know why they were. <laughs> North Korea has accused the United States of trying to assassinate Kim Jong-un using what? Marty? I believe it was a hair straightener, Tom. Um, <laughs> that, that would have done some damage, but no, they said the US was going to use... Sam? Uh, biochemical weapons. I would have taken biochemicals, <laughs> quite correct. Uh, biochemical weapons. I, I've got to pay that. Okay. Celia, <laughs> <not? laughs> Celia thinks gotcha. those are weapons you buy at the biochemist. No. no. <laughs> All right. Why were Star Wars fans excited on Thursday? <laughs> Celia. Because it was May the 4th, and that sounds kind of like May the Force Be With You, which is from one of their films. That sounds so disinterested. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Celia, quite correct. <laughs> Of course, fans all around the world celebrated the day, but none more tastefully than Channel 9's Today Show. Oh, no. And the medical question... <laughs> that you're to, uh, yeah. Good to see who Sonia is dressed by. We've got to take a break. Back with the world of show business right after this.